and he just went through. <laughs> we were originally going to get a dress from Ukraine, and unfortunately that didn't pan out. Um, and then we hired a seamstress through a friend of my mom's, and it did not go well. Um, the dress was very poor quality, wasn't made out of the fabric it was supposed to be, and was not going to be done in time. Uh, and that is when I turned to Hannah, uh, who with a week left to my wedding, made my dress. Day one of the wedding dress speed run. I am getting everything cut out. I've got people coming at 5 p.m. We're gonna try and get everything surged and the body put together today. We're assembling the lining. Good job. <laughs> Sarah is helping to make her dress. Because it gives me anxiety to have people do things for me and I don't. She's being extremely helpful. These are gonna be the little loopies for the side corset lacing, which we cannot assemble the outer version of the dress without. So this is an integral piece of the puzzle. Yeah, the outer version of the dress. <laughs> One is in the bag. We have a dress. Day two. One of the little loopies was in the wrong spot, so I have to fix that. And then I'm gonna baste the armholes, so the bottom back seam, and then cut out cut out the sleeves, and then. The gang is coming over again tonight. We'll cut out the the cape thingy and I should be getting the trim that goes along the neckline and the sleeve bands. And then it is just a matter of making sure that everything is hemmed in time for the wedding on Saturday. So uh, I'm gonna get to work because time is a wasting. So the silk is super duper squidgy. That is a technical term. So what I've done is I have aligned it up with the edge of my cutting table and weighed it down and then put the sleeve on made sure that the grain line is parallel with the selvage and I am going to just cut this um, very close to the tissue edge but not trying to be too precious about it because it is what it is and we're gonna do a little rolled hem anyway it doesn't need to be precious it'll look great It's not about the camera, it's just like, oh hey, this is your wedding dress. This poor girl went to Joanne's. I asked her, I was like, hey, do you have any of these in the back? 
And she's like, no, probably not. Like generally what we have up front. And I said, oh, thank you. And she's like, oh, we'll have a truck tomorrow. You should come back tomorrow. And I said, well, it's for my wedding dress for Saturday. And she went, don't go anywhere. And she like scoured the back. Aww. And then she called the other Joann's when it listed that they had some. And she was like, oh, you don't want to read. Oh, it sounds like a like a, a nice Joanne's. Person. Yeah, you did it right. Okay. Who went? Hey, give me your number so I'll call you when that actually shows up. Right. She was she was very she's what couldn't be more than seventeen, eighteen. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to Morgan who did a lot of the main construction seams and to Sarah herself for helping out with a lot of the little easier details. Uh, without them, I never could have made this dress in the time that we had. I, it just, I don't think it would have been possible. I wouldn't have slept and then I would have messed something up really bad. As it stands, I think we, I think we took three or four days to make the dress. It's, it's, it's been a few months, so my memory's a little bit hazy. We used a white rayon from Fabric Wholesale Direct, and we did two layers of the dress so that it was self-lined all the way down, but the hems were left free. And then the flowing portions of the sleeves were done in a silk chiffon from Dharma Trading. The trim was gotten from Arm Street, uh, at the time that it was ordered, they weren't doing the dresses. They just had the accessories on hand that they could ship out for obvious reasons. She would have happily gone with the dress from them, but you know, things happened. So it wasn't truly a dupe because it didn't have all the pleating in the front. The construction of the dress was different. Just the final outcome looked similar enough that Sarah was really happy with it. Would I do it again? Speed running a dress? Yes. Speed running a wedding dress? Mm, I, I would only do that for love. No amount of money, I think, would uh, make me speed run a wedding dress again. There's a lot of stress and worry in like trying to make sure that it is exactly right for the big day, but she was happy with it. And in the end, that's what matters, is that my friend got the dress that she wanted to get. I'm grateful for the experience. I don't think that it's something that I will ever forget. I am grateful for the crafting time with my friends. 
I usually end up doing a lot of my sewing alone and it was really refreshing to work in sort of a workshop atelier environment. Yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks lovely. The wind was a paid actor. Sarah, if you're watching this, turn it off right now. Don't watch anymore, okay? I think that I'm going to take some of the, one of the photos that I took at the wedding and try to do a fairy tale Photoshop. Um, kind of like what I did with the font lock picture, just not as a group composite, just, just something for her. And, um, if I can get something that I'm happy with, I'm going to print it out and give it to her as a gift. And I think that I might make a video of that process if I can come up with something that I'm happy with. That's the... I must meet my own standards. Those are the only standards that I have to meet are my own. So thank you for hanging out. Thank you for coming along on this wild ride with me. Thank you. Thank you for being my friend and being here with me. Please make sure you drink some water and eat something nourishing and tasty and make sure you do something for yourself. Rest is not earned. Rest is a thing that you have to do beforehand in order to get good results with whatever you want to do. Please remember that. If you got this far, tell me about a speed run that you did in your life that you're really happy with or one that you might want to do. Thank you for helping me craft a life worth living. You had to pick the squeaky toy, didn't you? Had to pick the squeaky toy. What if I throw the other one? What if I... No. No. Okay.